Ciao and welcome back to my channel. In a previous video I showed you how to shoot flat shot images. So if you missed that video, just check it on my channel. Today I'm retouching these images in Photoshop. So I'll make you a step-by-step -step guide so you can have a better understanding about what I'm doing to make these images look perfect. For flat shot I like to do the cutout with pen tool so everything looks so perfect. There are some actions I created to help me with the retouch, so you can download this action down below in the description. The first action I'm gonna use is the product guide. So let's play this action. You can see it creates kind of guides on the frame, which are helping me to understand the product symmetry and also the positioning so I can move everything around the frame. First of all, let's crop everything square. I think this is the most common crop ratio so if you have a different one of course use yours and let's place this in the middle let's rotate a bit you can see now everything is in the middle i mean at least the middle line then we can just amend the shape on one side flip it in this case i'm not gonna flip one side to the other just because there is some texture so you can see after that it has been flipped but if, for example, on the t-shirt we can flip one side because it's not going to be really visible as well as for the joggers and then I can use the text here and replace it. So let's now liquefy the shape to make it nicer on just one side. So let's press Command or Control Shift X on your keyboard or just go to Filter, Liquify. So you can see now, I'm gonna work on this side because it's already looking nice. So what I'm doing, just amending a bit the shoulder shape like that. So before it was curving a bit, but I, I prefer when once it's straight. Let's reduce the arm a bit. Let's make it straighter. Of course this is not a new garment so if there are some imperfections I don't care I mean it's just to show you how to do it so now I'm fixing the shape you can see let's also fix the bottom part so something like that I do like the left side so now I can select with the M tool on the keyboard I'm doing the selection following the middle line so from the left part towards the middle part and then I stop here so what I can do now I can duplicate the layer command J on the keyboard so you can see now I have a new layer just with the left side I can then press command T on the keyboard then left click on the pen or on your mouse and then flip horizontal before doing this, what you can do, you can just go at the top here and select which one is the middle part. So for example, now is in the middle and it's gonna flip everything considering the middle here. But if you wanna flip from this side to the right, you can just select the right point up here. So now if I'm doing the same, flip horizontal, everything is gonna be on the other side, as you can see. To make everything quicker I created an action so what I have to do is just to make a selection then I have here flip right to left, flip left to right, flip top to bottom and bottom to top. So I'm just, I just need now left to right so let's play it and then you can see now I have the other side so I don't need any more layer number one. So now I have to liquefy layer number zero again so let's press again command or control shift x and then I can show the backdrop. Basically, this is gonna show every layer when you select. I just need to see the flip left to right layer so I have a better understanding about the shape. You can see now they are blending together so it's not quite visible and it might be confusing for you. So what you can do here is basically remove the saturation from this layer. So if you press command or control shift U, you just remove every color and then if you play if you press command or control m on the keyboard you can launch the curves tool I'm just dragging the middle point down everything is gonna be very dark and now it should be more visible so let's do again the liquify and select flip left to right you can see now 
is more visible. So let's start aligning the layer. You can see I can align the sewing line up here, the shoulder, the collar. So if you do it, it's just gonna take probably a few minutes, but every image will look perfect then. Let's press enter. And now let's remove the guides. And if I'm unchecking the top layer, you can see everything is much, much more better compared to what I, what I had in the beginning. So you can see the shape is much better now. So we are ready now for the cutout. Let's select just the jumper like that. So I have a selection now, I'm selecting the jumper. I need to fill everything out of the jumper with white. I have inverted the selection, so I'm selecting now the outer part of the jumper. And then now I can press Command or Control Backspace. So this is gonna fill everything with white. So now we want to cut out the image. What, what I can do is just select with the one tool. You can see now I have a good selection. Then I can use the Select and Mask tool. Let's launch it. So now I'm selecting the outer part, but I do want to select the jumper. So I can invert the selection, just pressing the button here. So now you can see I have, it, I have the jumper selected. Let's increase the opacity of the view mode. I'm just showing everything on white. You can see now we have a little bit of shadow down here and let's smooth. You can copy the same setting. Smoothness is like 10 point one pixel feather, 10% contrast and minus 21% shift edge. So let's create a new layer with layer mask. I'm gonna press okay. And then I can create a new layer with solid color. If you have everything, everything on white, you can just select the white color. And then if you have an RGB or an X code, just select your color. And that's the first one. So now, just cause I want to make everything look, look perfect. I can remove the creases using the frequency separation. I'm using the frequency separation cause in, in this case I have a strong texture. So if I'm using, for example, the clone stamp tool, I can mess up. I mean, it's not really visible, but you can see here it's not perfectly aligned the texture. So I can, I have already an action for frequency separation. I'm going to launch it. If you don't know how to use it, I'm going to make a tutorial probably in future, but it's not quite difficult. So instead of the gush and blur, I'm using the dust and scratches one, which works better on texture, but it depends if it's a very fine texture, it's better to use the gush and blur. Let's press okay. I think 15 as a radius should work. So I'm painting in a new layer in between. So this is a layer for the color. This is a layer for the texture. So the one in between is where I'm gonna copy and work on colors, so like that. I'm using the healing brush tool. Of course, I'm sampling all the layers. So you can see now, just working on colors, it looks perfect. As last step, if needed, you can create a curved layer. So if you, if you need it brighter, darker, if you wanna, for example, improve the color saturation, you can just do it now and then save the image. So generally talking, this is the workflow I use to retouch Flatshot. Let's save this image and close it. So now I'm working on the t-shirt. You can see the t-shirt is not very new, so it's full of creases and there are some spots around, so don't, don't worry about it. Let's start first of all, in this case, the frequency separation, so I can fix first of all creases and see which side look better. I think I'm gonna fl flip the left side. So let's use in this case 20 as a radius for dust and scratches. Let's press okay. Now again, I'm working on the layer in between the details and colors. Again, healing brush tool. Just make sure you are sampling all layers and then I can start to fix it. This is a plain t-shirt, so you don't really need to sample on the t-shirt. You can also use just the color with the brush tool. I can show you what I'm, what I'm gonna do in a few seconds. So you can see now we have some spots here. In this case, you can use the mixer brush tool. What it does is just 
it's just dragging some color like I'm brushing on it instead of just painting with the brush tool like that for example it depends on your workflow you can also do something like that don't worry if I'm going out of the t-shirt it's just to fix the color in this moment and then I can just brush with a plain color something like that So you can see now in a few steps I fixed just the color problem. So now if I use the clone stamp tool, I'm working on the high frequency. Make sure in this case you are working on the current layer, otherwise it's gonna create a bit of a mess. And then I can copy the texture from other part of the image. This was the before, this is the after. What I can do now as before, let's launch the guides. So I can just liquefy one side and make it look straighter. So in this case, I don't need to flip the left side to check the other side shape because I'm gonna use basically the left side as a right part. You can see what I'm gonna do. So what I can do, I can start the gut out maybe from here with a pencil. Let's close the selection, one pixel with feather radius. Okay, so now I can just press Command or Ctrl J and then create again the solid color layer. Maybe let's crop after because I can show you something. So now we can again flip the left side. So let's do a selection M tool on the keyboard. Let's drag from the top left to the bottom right in the middle and then again flip left to right. Okay, you can see now we have the whole t-shirt again, but of course I need to mask the middle part, otherwise it's gonna look weird. So let's create a mask and then with brush tool, I'm using the black and white color, of course. Black erase and white shows. So now I can show the label, I can blend a bit the middle line. So it doesn't look obvious. Okay, now you can see at the bottom here we have something we have to remove. So let's merge these two layers. So select both layer and press Command or Control E on your keyboard. We can make everything look perfect. Like that. And like that. So you can see now we have the t-shirt. Let's fix the last thing. I think the shoulder here. I think the armpit here needs to be straighter. Something like that. Then now let's crop it. So what I can do, I can basically crop the image touching the T. Something like that. Then you can see now here I have an action had 110% space. If I launch it, you can see it's gonna add another 10% space around. And if I launch more and more, it's gonna add more space. Normally I used to add another 10%, but in this case I can add another 20%. If you want to do it manually, you can press Command Option or Control Option C on the keyboard. You can see here we have the option for the canvas side. Make sure you select percent and add 110 or 120. In this case, 120, then press tab, so 120. You can see now we have the space, same space around. It's just an action to make it quicker. So now we can save this image, which is ready. Command or Control S, of course, it's not looking the best because it was very crazy, but it's a good result, I think. If you want to practice this retouch, just go down below in the description and download two of these images. And also, if you want to talk with me about something, you can reach me on Instagram. Everything is down below in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and also give me some advice for future tutorials. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Meanwhile, keep practicing and also being creative. Ciao!